Usually, high-density lipoprotein cholesterol concentrations are inversely associated with cardiovascular disease and mortality. But there is some data to suggest that extremely high HDL cholesterol might increase cardiovascular risk that is an occurrence of a U-curve relationship. Madsen CM and Associates check this out in two prospective cohort studies, Copenhagen City Heart Study and the Copenhagen General Population Study, including a total of about 52,000 males and 64,000 females. During about 745,000 person years of follow-up, they could demonstrate a U-curve relationship of HDL cholesterol with high mortality at both extremes in both men and women. The HDL level with lowest all-cause mortality was 73 mg per deciliter in males and 93 mg per deciliter in females. At the other extreme, a hazard ratio of 2.06 for all-cause mortality was noted in men with HDL cholesterol level of 116 mg per deciliter or more. In women, a hazard ratio of 1.68 for all-cause mortality was noted with HDL cholesterol levels of 135 mg per deciliter or more. It is possible that genetic mutations leading to high HDL cholesterol also confer adverse cardiovascular risk. An alternate possibility is that extremely high HDL cholesterol levels are due to dysfunctional form. It has been noted that loss of function mutations of SCAR1 gene encoding the major transporter of HDL cholesterol which delivers it to liver for excretion results in marked increases in HDL cholesterol level as well as paradoxically increased risk of coronary artery disease. Here are the relevant journal references.